Hi guys, I'm back with another one and in this one we are going to take a look at Matex SAM M8Q GPS module. We are going to take a look what's in the packaging and we are going to install it on my uh, long range rig and also we are going to take um, uh, we are going to take talk about the general usage of uh, GPS module on your uh, mini quad. So yeah, let's see what's in the packaging. So when you open the packaging, you get really nice hitch ring. A cable to connect the GPS module to the uh, flight controller and the GPS module itself. So yeah, uh, I'm not going uh, to go over the specifics of the um, module because you can uh, see all the specs in the link below. But what's uh, I would like to point out what's really convenient about this one is if uh, you can connect it via the plug or you can solder on the module. So I'm going to use this printed TPU mount for the module and I'm going to use these cables. So yeah, um, let's go and install the module on my uh, drone. So uh, this is the module installed on my frame. I have this uh, really nice uh, TPU printed mount for the uh, GPS. Uh, now we need to connect the wires to the flight controller. We have the uh, positive and a negative um, lead to power the the GPS module. For that you need 5 volts. So check on your uh, flight controller which pads are free and can deliver the voltage for my Redix brain. These are these two to connect the ground 5 volt and uh, yellow one is RX wire that's going to uh, go to the TX6 on my flight controller and the blue wire is TX and it's going to go to the RX so yeah let's go and solder up the flight controller So, black wire goes to the ground. So, we have ground and power connected. Now, on the to connect the yellow wire, which is RX to the TX port so once again yellow is RX and it's going to TX and the blue is TX and it's going to the RX pad on your flight controller. So we have the flight controller connected. And next step is to set it up in beta flight. Also one more thing uh, worth mentioning uh, when you are installing your GPS please be sure that the GPS module itself is not covered by uh, anything. Uh, you, you simply cannot put it inside the quad. You need to 
the GPS module to be exposed so you can uh, find satellites and keep track of your quad. So please note that the module needs to be separated or put it on top or or uh, something somewhere it's that is not uh, abstract abstracted by anything so yeah uh, let's go over to the beta flight setup and configure the GPS module so uh, here we are in uh, beta flight setup the uh, few there are a few things you need to check so in uh, ports you need to add your GPS to the UART you uh, soldered your wires to. So you in drop down menu you need to check the GPS and I like to set my baud rate to auto or in this case for Matic you can select 9600 but I will leave it to auto. Also, in the configuration tab, you need to enable GPS, set the protocol you want to use, and I always do auto on both, uh, both settings. So uh, to see if your GPS is working, you need to uh, place the uh, GPS or uh, your quad near the window, or uh, if you are on your laptop you need to go outside so the GPS can uh, find uh, satellites and in OSD I use a longitude and latitude setting when I'm uh, doing a long-range flight I'm also using uh, DVR to record the whole flight and when I if I uh, to lose the quad I can simply look up uh, DVR footage and find the coordinates where my uh, quad went down and also what's most important in all of the, this and why I use GPS is this arrow so this is arrow uh, indicating the home point uh, I will um, uh, link or play the the footage where Without the arrow, it would be impossible to uh, find my way, way back home. So if you're flying over water like I, I'm in this uh, clip, and there's really not an indicator where you are standing or how to fly back home. So I'm simply looking up this arrow and I'm flying back home. So yeah, this is uh, what I generally use my uh, GPS for. So if you're flying uh, in the area where there's no uh, real indicator to where you're standing, it's really, really important to have the arrow pointing towards home. So yeah, I hope you find this video useful and see you in the next one.